Hello there, my name is Juan Luis, I'm from Mexico, and I'm going to show you my project. So, my project is controlled by Atmega2560 with an Ethernet shield, a Wi Fi router or wireless router. It has a PID controlled power source. It is controlled by the Atmega, and of course, it is made with a robot. The robot is made with servos and MDF material and a gripper. So now you will see it working. So it is controlled by an Android app using Wi Fi connection. So you can see how it moves up and down. That's the elbow. That's the gripper, one side to another side. We have a hand button, and you can also teach the robot new positions. For example, I will start by grabbing this object here. Just wait a minute. It's pretty difficult to do it with one hand. So I have, I'm now in position, so I will push the save button, now I close the gripper, save button, then we go up, we go up I said, save button, now we go this side, then I save, save the position, now we go down, save button, now I release the gripper and that's it. So let's play it. So you can see how far it is, how fast it is. Uh, we are using linear interpolation here to get all the positions in the same, same time, all the movements from the robot. So let, let's see how it works. So that's it, and a low-cost pick-and-place robotic arm. So I hope you like it so far. This is the this is one of the modes of my robot. It is called Wi-Fi teaching and control mode. Next, I will show you the object tracking mode and the mimic mode. Thank you. Hello there, this is the object tracking mode. Now you are seeing what the camera sees. So how it works? First, it discriminates between color. In this case, we are using a blue object color, as you can see. So it moves, and the, the robotic arm will follow its movements. It is controlled by a wireless IP camera made of a Android, old Android cell phone a Wi-Fi router, the Admega 2560 and Ethernet shield and one Ethernet shield. So the next step is to discriminate between shape because as you can see in the in the picture there are some other objects that are also blue but just the round objects are take it, taken in, a, in account. So the robotic arm will follow all the movements from this object. Hello there, this is the mimic mode. So now you will see how the robot moves according to my movements. So, how mimic mo mode works? As you can see in the computer, objects that are, that are round and green, blue and red colors are discriminated. Using these spots in my body, I can build up a model of my arm. So, when I close and open my hand, the gripper closes and opens. When I move my elbow, 
the erotic elbow also moves as you can see in my movements so also if I move my my shoulder, the robotic shoulder also moves that's why this mode is called mimic mode so how it works once you have the blue, red and green spots detected you make inverse kinematics in order to get the angles from those points those angles are sent using TCP over IP to the Adnegal 2560 this is using the camera on my computer as you can see so this has many applications and it is it was made in MATLAB as well so this is my arm full extended now it's not now it's full extended open gripper close gripper open gripper close it open close move this elbow move the, move the sh shoulder up and down as you can see it has some delays because of the camera acquisition system so this is the mimic mode I hope you like it so much as I do thank you